This episode is brought to you by the wine for bodacious gals like us. Be bold, be outspoken, be bodacious. Welcome back to Potty Talk, the podcast where we shit talk ourselves. I'm Jack. And I'm Tor. And this is our final episode for 2020. Year end review. This is crazy. This year has flown by. This has been the most unexpected and crazy year. I cannot believe it's going to be 2021. It's like I've been waiting for this forever. No, this is actually insane. I thought for today's episode, it would be kind of fun if we did a little bit of a look back at the year, whether we accomplished any of our resolutions, our goals, and just kind of like chat about the year. I also wonder, it's funny, I haven't looked at these since probably last January. Like I do look at them sometimes to think back, but I feel like the big ones I already have in my head anyway. So those little funny ones I make, I'm I'm curious to see. Because also it was such an unconventional year. So things that maybe I thought would have happened didn't happen. And then things that I would not have expected happened to have have happened. Exactly. And I feel like the year was actually starting off on a really good foot. Like there was some We were in Los Angeles. Yeah. I was working with Disney. We got some. it off good. Great news at some point. Oh yeah. We did. We, I remember we had a conversation at the beginning of the year going, this is going to be the year. This is our year. And it simply was not our year. Yeah. Not at all. But (laughs) But hey, I I don't think it was anyone's year. I was going to say, I think we're all in the same boat. Yeah. But uh, should we reflect and see how good or poor the year was? (laughs) Yes, I do. Um, Okay. You go first. Okay. So I had a different category. So for life on 2020, my first one was take piano lessons. How did that go? I absolutely <laughs> did not take piano lessons. I love it. Like just no, That's didn't even try. My first one was get rid of my warts, which I did in 2020. My <laughs> warts are gone. Unintentionally. It's so funny. I wonder if they're stress related. I actually started to think because, Oh really? Well, I don't know. Like, so warts are like a virus. They're like, it's, you don't really know, but I've had them for a long time, but it's so crazy because in the middle of like quarantine, like when my life really like settled down and life was normal, I like was looking at my feet and my warts were gone question mark <laughs> or the power of manifestation you put it out into the universe and then the universe said I don't warts know. be gone all I can say is I didn't put anything on them I didn't do anything different so I don't know if it's like a stress like cortisone level I don't know it's, it's kind of hey, sad like what have they been there for 20 years of your life those warts be gone <laughs> I did notice one maybe coming back recently <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know well that's a success that's one thing off my list okay my next one was read a book before bed how'd that go Interesting. I mean, I probably read about maybe eight books this year, which is not very many, I think, to a lot of actual readers, okay. but that's pretty good. That's about one book a month. Uh, I mean, a little less, but... I Yeah, it's funny. I fell into some really interesting reading patterns again in quarantine. I actually started reading the Harry Potter series because oh, yeah. I never read it. And How I had you like real that? joy. I To be fair, I only finished two books because mm-hmm. again like I you know me like when I fall out of it, rhythm I know I'm the same way when I'm, when in, I'm in reading it, I'm, I'm reading. in it like yeah. that when I started the Harry Potter book the first one I'm pretty sure I read it in two days yeah. so it's like if I'm in it I'm in it but it's yeah. just as soon as I fall out of pattern I fall out of I think pattern. my main intention was like less screen time before bed which I definitely have done I even turned down time on my phone on so yeah. like my phone just like doesn't all those apps don't work past a certain time yeah which I find has been really helpful in implementing like a nice peaceful bedtime, which is just like the root of everything. Because if you don't have a good sleep, then you're not living life. True. Right. Um, this one's funny. Travel for work and fun. Australia, Greece, <sighs> Italy, Japan. <laughs> well, and tour, how did that one go? Didn't go well at all. Obviously went to none of those places and in fact had to cancel an, a trip to us. No, uh, my Italy. Italy trip and Greece trip were both canceled. So that's hilarious. I mean, that's funny. It would have happened. It was planned, but yeah, it did not happen. This is a really weird one. I put don't buy any clothes. Just period. How Don't did that buy go? any clothes. Honestly? You have you never really buy clothes. I mean, yeah. I mean, and again, like I think I'm lucky in the sense that we get like if I'm working with a partnership, like I didn't count that if I was working with a company yeah, and like of course, yeah. That's you're a little not different. For it, yeah. But I probably honestly only bought like four or five things this year. That's crazy. Like of clothing or like accessories and things Whoa. like that. So that. That was pretty good. I that's actually I great. that pretty good. Um, but I feel like that's like such a cheap out. Like it's a cop out because fair. I have bought tons of new clothes, like in different because of Capacities. my job. Yeah. So right. that's kind of unfair. Okay. Um, the company I do consulting at, I just said make changes, which I feel like. Did you make changes? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Like I feel like I, I, I have, I mm-hmm. guess I'd give myself a check mark on that one. Mm-hmm. Good job. Great work, Tori. Great work on that and one. you like to expand on that at all? Yeah. Or just no, I mean, that was kind of it. Like, yeah. I literally wrote make change, which I don't really quite know what that even means. <laughs> In the moment. Corporate you change, I guess. 
Just like be a community wave maker. change wave maker. I, I like think that. I, I think I like to think I'm a wave maker. So yeah. Another one I said was take weekends and evenings off, and in brackets, use Sunday as a reset day. Do your laundries, groceries, life things. And honestly, I have been really good this year about doing that, and yeah. I feel like that's been a big factor on feeling stable and like in an mm. okay place and not feeling overwhelmed because yeah. I always go well if I didn't get to an end of day Friday like. It's going to wait till Monday, which I would normally never do that. And of right. course, there are a few situations where I work on weekends, but I've been trying to be really good about that. So I would say, check to that, baby. That's nice. Actually, we're doing better than I thought. I thought I everything guess. was going to be like, no, no, no. Some of these later ones, I feel like I just definitely... <laughs> mm. Literally, the last one on my list is more airplanes, heart. Simply ah. <laughs> did not happen. I also wrote Amanjiri, which I think will forever be on my... Wait, what is that? It's like a gorgeous uh, location in Utah that like oh. is... It's literally like $2,000 a night. It's like so luxe. It's in the middle of nowhere. All the influencers go there. It's like is my that dream. Kylie shot that like video in like... Yeah, that, uh, I think so. If it's the one I'm thinking of. She yeah. went there recently. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, this <laughs> says... Wear contacts more. That's funny. Honestly, I did. I wore my contacts a lot this year. I'm getting really good at putting those in. So that's hilarious. I wrote more skiing, which is nice. Oh Hopefully, I can do that in December, like as this December month. <laughs> more skiing. I think. I think it's gonna happen. I'd like to say more skiing in this winter months. You know. The next one was visit parents in LA, which I actually did at the beginning of the oh, year. Oh, nice! Yeah, when you they did were spending some time there. Oh, um, this one's cute. I wrote be a bridesmaid, which I didn't this year, but I will next year. Uh, so that's were you nice. To be a bridesmaid this no, year. No, I just must have been manifesting that they weren't even engaged. Yeah, they would have been. Oh, they got engaged Last in December. December. Maybe I thought they were getting oh. married. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, but be a bridesmaid in twenty twenty one will cute. happen. Um, this is kind of weird. That was the same as last one. Um, this one says wake up at seven a.m. Just like in general, that was a pretty bold That's claim. That's nice. Honestly, in quarantine, I did not do that. I had the most messed up sleep <laughs> schedule for a hot minute, but I'm, I'm back to like being like normal go- bedtime and wake up. So overall, I'd say good given the circumstances, question mark. Nice. Um, this one's so random. Mentor more. Seek out moments. Oh. I don't feel like I did that, which that is something I should bring into 2021. You want to be a mentor for someone younger? Maybe both. Like find a better mentor, be a better mentor. I like that. That's something I don't really think about. But Actually, that's untrue. I feel like Megan has been more of a mentor to me this year. So maybe I've seeked out a nice mentor, but I don't know that I've been a good mentor when I think I could be to someone. So mm. I could still continue really to nice. grow that. Um, this one says, write in a journal one time a week and then do your da- daily gratitude journal, which I do my daily gratitude journal. I definitely don't write in a journal <laughs> enough. Be better with cleaning fridge. I don't know oh, that, that is a fail. About. I will tell you right now that is a fail. <laughs> I don't know that I've been better about doing that this year. The, my friends make fun of me because my fridge is just constantly a disaster. I will say it's better than it has been, but it's not perfect. It's also the main reason why I don't ever bring like anything that needs to be refrigerated over yeah. here because I've done that a few times and I open the fridge and it gives me panic to yeah. figure it out. Um, oh. This one's funny. Potty Talk needs 10K followers. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> Needs. Maybe That's one so day. Um, this one is something that I definitely did not instill. And this says, reduce using the word like in a uh, sentence. I'm just trying to I sound don't think we've been good about better, that. Better, and I am not. I understand. Um, lock down an amazing podcast oh. sponsor. Whoa, that was a triggering... Oh, <laughs> lockdown. My goal for 2020, lockdown. Um, yeah, lockdown, amazing podcast sponsor, which we did do. Uh, we wait, love. that's an amazing that actually is Thank really you, beautiful. Bodacious. That's beautifully, beautifully integrated. Brought to you by Bodacious. I love. That's actually really beautiful. It's funny when you look back, you I think know. you haven't accomplished a lot, but I know. You actually and you're like, did. wait, that's crazy. It just all mm-hmm. comes into place. Um, this says bake or cook something time consuming at least once a week. Yes. So I wanted to like try new recipes and I have to say mainly due to quarantine, I actually did do that. I was baking a ton a lot more than ever and trying new recipes and wow. TikTok inspired a bunch of new recipes. That's so true. Check to that. We're doing way better than we thought. Um be on a billboard. I was not on a billboard in 2020. <laughs> I can tell you right Remember now. Remember when you went to LA for print work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost could have been, but I was not. Um, so that did not happen. I have some health goals now in a different section. Okay. This says go for a run every other day. Absolutely not. <laughs> I did not. I honestly. I was so good in quarantine. I was going on walks and runs every single day. I was good at the start. The last two months, I have not been running nearly as much as I, I wanted. I did a nice I think job. I've, four I've times been, a, a month, I've been good, actually. I've been honestly not too, too bad. Drink less alcohol, comma, but actually, period. <laughs> I don't think I did that. I uh, mean, I, yeah, I didn't drink. I, I guess I did drink less in 2020 because I didn't go out as much. Oh, I 200% did. 
drink, drink less. less. Yeah. Because yeah. we just weren't like out Social- partying. Yeah. We weren't socializing. We weren't at events. Like, yeah, I completely so, agree. So yeah, in, in some ways, yes. Yeah, I actually agree. I also said do F45 berries and dance classes, which honestly at the beginning of the year, I we did do dance classes F45 and though. I did F45 even during lockdown when it was open. So, so good. success. Go on a ski trip with my faves. I don't know what that means, but that's so also funny. yes. <laughs> also yes. I love that. Uh, that's great. That is the plan of winter. Every weekend ski trip, if it's safe to do so. That's my dream. I love that. Okay, this one is kind of sad actually. It says keep up with gymnastics, learn new Aww. tumbling and trampoline skills. And I was doing this at the be- at the beginning of the year. I found a gym finally and was like tumbling tumbling yeah. again and felt really good about it. And then not anymore. Mine, get 500,000 followers, simply did not happen. <laughs> I love that, like, though I have such big dreams for myself. Like, it's just like, get 500,000. Just do it. Get a million. Just do no, it. No like, game plan. Just no, do just it. Just do it. So, I mean, it did not happen. But who's oh, to this say is it will really never. cute. On my goal, it said snowboard three times. And now Aww. I have a snowboard, so I can do that. That's cute. Aww. You can. Um, be on... Be in magazine. Was I in a magazine this year? <laughs> be in a magazine. In a I'm magazine. I'm sure something. Like, did you do the kit at all? <gasps> I did. I was in a magazine, baby. Put a check mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in the kit, yeah. Okay. Um, I have some work ones next, and it says hit 1 million views monthly, and I have to say, I did have you been do doing it? that. Nice. Yep. So I'm really happy about that Chick-chick. one. Chick, chick. Love a, love a goal. Love a goal, baby. Um... This makes no sense either. These are so funny. I wonder if I was inebriated when I made these. What's the next one? Big kisses to Adam. What? Like, it's just as a category. Like, as something to do. Which, like, yeah, I gave him Did you give kisses. him some big kisses? I did. <laughs> like, I did. I gave him some love. I mean. That is so funny. It's just, like, a funny, like, category. It's a weird, yeah. yeah. Definitely a weird way to write that down. Hmm. Um, next a weird way to write that down. <laughs> a little odd, if I'm uh, honest. But uh, you do you. Uh, the next one that I have is hire a video editor, and I did do that. So success. Yes. What's her name? Megan. <laughs> Megan. Yeah. Killing it. We love you, Megan. Um, okay. Do things that scare me. I didn't do that in 2020. <laughs> Not one thing. Mm. I think you did. You cook so much more this year. That scares yeah. you. True. Okay. It scares all of us. <laughs> <laughs> scares everyone scares involved. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. True. Oh my god, we did try something new. I golfed for the first time this yes, year. Yes, that was fun. That was no, good. I mean, vibes. you didn't golf for the first time, but I did. Yeah. Um, this is another work-related one, and it says don't apologize for existing or for appearance, which sounds really weird. But there was I that was like written a, the way I wrote mine. <laughs> I know it does sound a little odd, but also I I didn't want to get into the habit of being on a YouTube video where I didn't have makeup on and be like, oh guys, so sorry, I don't have makeup on today. Like I hate when I see other people do that and that's like not something I actually care okay. about but I find I would get into the habit of doing that which I'm like that is just not the message oh right like, hey guys so sorry I'm not like done up for today's video like no don't just say that hi just I'm here to this exist. is real this, this is, is me I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. I can't carry a tune so I'll let Tor finish I'm gonna one. let the light shine on me okay yeah also in that same vein shoot videos because you care to share how did you I are write these? <laughs> these I are must have been. I think I was probably in Dominican Republic because I was probably oh. six drinks in in Dominican Republic writing this, which is why I wrote drink less, comma, but actually, period. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> I'm saying these are like not written out how you would write things out. No, I know. I think I was probably drunk, but that's so funny. <laughs> Shoot videos because you care to share. Which I mean, hey, yeah, like I put some do videos you, on YouTube you and I, I care to share, and I've been better about shooting video content. So I think, yeah, check mark there. Um, this says two to three videos a week. Honestly, success. Not three videos, but we've been doing two a week That's for the great. whole year, pretty much. So That's amazing. Happy about that. Stuck to it, baby. Yeah. Um, what is this? Some of these are still under confidentiality that you'll hear about. I know. I'm like, I'm skipping a few of these. <laughs> um, okay. Take a class because you like learning new things. Yours are just so ambiguous. Like, they're so open-ended. I didn't, I didn't take... Did I take a class? Did you do a dance class? Or no, you didn't come to gymnastics no. with me, and that really hurt me. No, I'm actually bad about trying new things. I will say, so that should be added. I don't back. think that's true, though. Maybe it's hard to break a habit, but you're pretty open to trying new things. I'll try new things. I guess that's true. It's just yeah, I won't necessarily pursue Go out of your way, it. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty much all of my um, okay. goals that I care to share. So I would say honestly, I hit about maybe fifty like, percent. Yeah, not bad. I feel like honestly more than I. Thought I would have. Same. It is weird in a year that you look back on, and I think, oh, I didn't do this much. This one I did year. not do. Sing in public a lot. Hey, but you did like post a singing video, didn't you, on TikTok? Oh, maybe public. I guess. And that's, that's a thing. It's like if you, I know, you consider can... 
ways to do. I mean, yeah, like I, I'm proud of us. I'll put it that way. I am too. And I think it's, yeah, easy to look back on a year and feel like you did nothing. Especially as like traumatizing of a year as it has been for everyone. And it's easy to look back and go, oh, this year sucks. I hate 2020. Yeah. And of course, yes, but also there are small wins. And I think especially in a time like now, it's important to recognize those small wins. And guess what? I agree. We did some, we did it. Epic things. I feel like also in 2020, I worked with way more brands that I like loved, loved, loved. Like I I felt like it was like the first year where I was like, I'm working with like the quality of brands that like, this is my wheelhouse. Like this is my, I agree. I feel very lucky that this year business wise has been the way it has been. Yeah. And I agree in the sense that I feel like I'm finally after, like, I mean, you putting your time into these things, yeah. I feel like I'm finally getting my groove and like, yeah. in the way that it's supposed to be. Yeah, I agree. Which is good. That is nice. So time and effort <sighs> equals happiness. Should we make some new resolutions live on the pod? Sure. That would be fun. Okay, I'm going to, I'll 2021? Mm-hmm. Twincy, twincy, when? Let me write it down. 20. I also. Just be better. How about that? <laughs> be better 2021. Please give us more, more happiness. Um, you want to know something that I want to do, which yes. I feel like I, I do try to do this, but I can be better. Yeah. Is initiate more virtual family hangs and family game nights. Oh, that's even nice. Even with like my aunts and like even my grandma's that's on FaceTime cute. and so good at it now. Like just making more of the effort versus waiting for other plans to fall into place. Nice. So make more effort. For game night. Love it. Yeah. Um, okay. What could I put as mine? Uh, I guess like cook more should be one because I did actually get good at one point and then I got lazy again and I just keep ordering Uber Eats. So that should go back on the list of trying to be better at cooking, cooking food more. Yeah. I love that idea. There is something exciting about like, whether it's challenging myself to use one new ingredient a month yeah, or like buy something that I would never buy at a store yeah. and challenge myself. Cause I do, I am like excited by the world of cuisine. The world of cuisine. Try new ingredients. I like that. Uh, I would like to Marie Kondo my condo. Mm. Like just exit. Exit everything. Delete, delete. Are you trying to be a minimalist? Kind of. Ooh. I'd like to do a massive delete. Like just get rid of things that I just, just don't bring me joy. Like those books there, like goodbye. Like go to Goodwill. Like I don't need you. You know what I mean? Things like that. I'll take that Alexander McQueen one if you don't sure, want it. I don't. Wait, really? Yeah. What oh. do you do with those? It's coffee. That's a good coffee table book. I feel like. Okay. Yeah, it's Alexander McQueen. Stunning. Um, um, do you find being in quarantine has made you more conscious of like your space? Because I know yeah. it has for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never thought I like. I've always appreciated my space, but I was so used to not being in it. Same. I agree. Like I wasn't spending any time, and now I think that because I. Finally, I'm so immersed in my space. I've like mm-hmm. know it better and I like know its vibe. And I'm like, okay, if it's not right, it's not right. It also makes me so conscious about like wanting to like upgrade my space or make it like perfect and so livable because that's where I'm spending a hundred percent of my exactly. time. Exactly. So declutter baby. Yeah. That's a good one. Actually. I need to, I always, okay. So I always take like about two weeks off over Christmas. And when you're listening to this, it will probably be my off time, mm-hmm. which I always have a list of things. Actually, we should get into that next. Uh, a list of things that I want to do when I have the time. Yeah. And that is like deep clean and a deep organize is for sure on that list. Like there's yeah. nothing better than a full day where it's like awful in the moment, but then yeah. when you're done, you are feeling good. I agree. Good, good. Just like a nice goodwill drop. Just, yeah. I had a list that I made actually Control, last. Control, delete. <laughs> Um, so listen to how funny this is. I made a list. This was last Christmas because yeah. I had a feeling I was like, you know, when you, all you crave is free time and then you have free time. And you're like, and you I'm have so nothing bored. to do. Exactly. Yeah. So I literally made nice. this list last year where it was things to do when you're bored. So whenever I had a moment where Stay I was stressed day. and busy and didn't, I felt like I didn't have the time to do it. I was like, Oh, I just wish I had time to go, go, go skating yeah. or something like that. I would write it down on the list. That way when I had the free time, You'd I would actually do it. fill my time with the things nice. that I actually wanted to do. So last year, this was my list of things and I only ended up doing, Doing I guess, four of them, it seems like. It was do a dance class, bake more, paint, draw, have a video game day, go skating, snowboard, visit Caledonia, which is my hometown, rewatch all the Harry Potters, watch Elf with my mom, clean out my closet, wash your makeup brushes. That's a good one. That is a good one. Do an escape room. Hilarious. Play guitar, rewatch Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Why? Why I don't know why that is on that list, but that's so funny. That is funny. Get TikTok. That is very funny. Play Sims. November 20th. That was literally this day, like a few days ago last year. Yeah. That's insane. So funny, eh? And then I added to it my 2020 list, so things that I'm craving to do this break, and it is to make French onion soup. 
That's don't a know good why. One. It just seems like something I need to do. Yeah. Um, look into a therapist. <laughs> that seems a little dramatic. Okay. Um, yeah, just like maybe I like should pursue that. I don't know. I feel like every adult. I was telling Adam last night. I was like, should you do therapy, Adam? Like you should. Why I feel not? like every adult I talked to is like, it's the best thing. I have nothing. Like there was nothing inherently wrong, but yeah. it was the best thing for me. And I'm like, oh, I guess I am an adult. Maybe I should pursue that question mark. Huh. Um, I feel like I wouldn't do well in therapy. I, I tell myself that as well, but don't knock it till you try it. No, I'm not knocking it. I just, no, I, I, I truly yeah. wonder like how mm. I would be. I think I'd perform for them and it would just not <laughs> be <laughs> yeah, relevant. Start lying yeah. And fully, yeah. Um, get a massage, organize oh, hard drive, digital declutter. Good. I know that's what that's I, yours. a digital declutter. That's what I need to add to my list because mm-hmm. that is so relevant. Digital declutter. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. So should we maybe put out some manifestations for 2021 so that yes. way we can watch this back at the Be end like, of 2021? Exactly. What can we... 10K followers for potty. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. Um, yeah. Maybe personal life. I don't know. I mean, obviously the hmm. biggest overarching goal is to have life be safe again and back to normal. That's a given. Of course. And if that was the case, what else would we like? I would like to be a star. Tori. <laughs> <laughs> By 2021, I'd like to be a star. That's not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> um, um, I'm half You know, I know what, actually, and I don't know how this would work even in quarantine. Something that I actually don't do enough is, like, donate my time. And it's like, I agree. who cares? Like, what's it to me? Four days, five days? Like, if I, and it doesn't sound like a lot, but the fact that I'm... To what, though? What do you I mean? I don't know. It could be in, in anything. Like, whether it's just... Literally, like, yeah, donating your time to a nonprofit and, or just, yeah, being a part of an organization just to help. Like, when yeah. you ever, like, we do so much with expectation. And I think it would be a good goal to, of mine. To do something without yeah, expectation. Yeah, to donate my time to charity or to, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, that's actually kind of horrible that I don't. No, that's like, really I, nice. I think we're also aware of our time and, like, we don't want to. That's awesome. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if that could work during quarantine, but, like. I'm sure there's always ways we can help and get involved. We should. Mm-hmm. That's a good sentiment. I'm going to manifest that. I love that. What else? I want to be on a billboard. I said it in 2020. Oh I want to be on a billboard. <laughs> I do. You don't want to be on a billboard? I'll be on a billboard. It's not not top of mind right now. Oh, I'd like to be on one. I just think like nobody's looking at billboards right now. They're looking <laughs> at their Instagram. So like you're doing a billboard but better. I guess. But I, I'll support you. If you have a billboard, I'll go and... Take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, like those traditional media things I actually like funny. Like I, yeah, I want to be on a talk show. I want to be on a billboard. I want to be on a. On Times Square billboard. Mm-hmm. I'd like that to happen again, maybe. <laughs> but this time with This your time consent. with my consent and with the right pay in mind. Uh, <laughs> geez. What about you? I don't know. It's so hard when you actually have to think. I think I definitely, if we're talking more business stuff, I definitely have a yeah. lot more concrete things. Like I definitely want, if this merch goes good. Yeah, expand the line. Yeah, do some more of that. I'm really like potty excited merch. about that. Manifest some potty merch. Um, oh, yeah. There's some good things that I hope can happen. We'll just have to wait for COVID. Yeah. And... That's the I, thing. You know what's it's so hard. funny? It's like, I remember my mom used to say this to me and she would always, cause I was always about goals and new year's resolutions and not in the sense of like those like ones that aren't attainable, but like, I just like to reflect and grow and whatever. Yeah. So I've always been a fan of doing that. And my mom was always kind of like, not the opposite. Cause she also was obviously very open-minded, but she was like, I'm good. I'm happy. Like, I don't, why do I need to constantly tell myself to be better and to like mm. not be happy with what I'm True. doing? Cause it's like, I'm doing the most and I'm happy wow. and like life is good. That's deep. And I think that came from more of a place of like feeling grateful and content, which is actually really beautiful because I think in some ways we are constantly told to not We're be like satisfied constantly with where chasing we are. something. Yeah. 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 Like I've already been in Times Square. Why do I feel the need <laughs> to be in? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's no like, exactly. It's like, why are we always chasing something else when we can't just be happy with what we've already accomplished? It's very true. So it's like a fine balance of like, yes, being content. You want to know what I do want to do? And we were talking about this, I think personally, not too long ago. Yeah. We are in such a go, go, go world and industry and just our lifestyles and who we are as people taking more time to like, yeah, appreciate the small wins and celebrate those little work milestones instead of just constantly racing forward. I feel like I've been so much better about that now, but I don't know necessarily like, um, a measurable way to actually do that or like a tangible way, like to do that. 
Like, do you have any advice? I, I don't know. I feel like I've been good at it because, and maybe that also is like because uh, because of Adam. Like when you have a partner, you like take those nights to like celebrate. Like I remember when he booked the Drake commercial. Like we we were really good about actually like celebrating that. Like we had the group mm-hmm. of friends together. We like you know popped a bottle of Patron and we were like like celebrated a proud accomplishment. Like you yeah. did something epic. You should celebrate that. And I feel like he's the same for me. Like if something happens or if I do something awesome or if something cool goes down like my family's like that too like we'll do a dinner or we'll do like a moment to celebrate we're big celebrators what can i say so pop a patron pa- so pop a patron Wait, can baby we be talking about patron i can always talk about patron well celebrations are always a need and i will put forward more celebrations at the very in least just have a little party you know what i'm saying safely but that's my goal yeah you wow. can call me virtually i'll celebrate i can't you. believe this is the final roses and thorns of 2020 of the year. It I'm really has sad. flown by. I can't believe it. Guys, without you, we wouldn't even have a podcast. Thank you so much for listening week to week. Where would we be without you? We can't wait for 2021. So much fun to come. I can't even believe it. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> Thanks, guys. <sighs> no, we do really appreciate all your support. And we read all of your DMs, your comments. We and really we, do. We talk about them and laugh about I them know. and enjoy them. We love our potty community. You guys you mean so much to us. enrich our lives. So let's finish this off with a final <laughs> rose and thorn. Oh, my goodness. Okay, a thorn is that expectations were not met overall for the year. Yeah. I'm going to do more all-encompassing ones. Yeah. A rose is that I feel very lucky that I have my health. Mm-hmm. I think this year has been very, made everyone very aware of that. Another rose is I've been very grateful with all the people and the friends and you and my family in my life. And that's made this time a lot easier. And a rosebud, something I'm looking forward to is a beautiful 2021. I just love in that. general. Just, just beautiful. beautiful. I love that. I would say a thorn is that I haven't been able to see my grandmother on my dad's side as much this year with COVID. Like they're in like lockdown in the um in their Home. homes, in the old folks' homes. And like that just makes me so sad. That's like a major thorn. And I can't believe so many people that ha- can't see their loved ones at this time with everything. And like that just yeah the thorn goes out to everyone in that capacity Mm -hmm. um a rose is yeah the time I have been able to spend with people is like so much more valuable and I just feel like this year really allowed me to slow down and there was like five years there where I was going a million miles a minute and it I honestly think this year like did have to happen for me to learn those like lessons of gratitude and slowing down and being kind to myself and and yeah so and valuing the people around me ultimately and then another rose is that I'm so grateful that my job is digital and always has been digital and that I've been able to still be creative and explore and 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 continue to do what I love in this time because I know so many people haven't been able to do that so that's just been like a major rose Mm -hmm. in 2020 and a rose bud is The best is yet to come. 2021 is going to be very special. I already know. (laughs) As it does. And that That is is very very in spirit of potty talk. In spirit of potty talk. Our camera's dead, but we're still going, baby. The show doesn't stop. (laughs) The show goes on, even when the screen is black. We are grateful for you guys. We are grateful for our listeners. Thank you so much. We will see you in 2021. Another year done and done. Partner in crime. Love you, baby. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. See you on the flip. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.